Hey, what's up, friends of Tech Heart? Making a quick video tonight. I don't know if we'll call it something like Tech Heart Streams or, or whatnot. I've actually edited the video in the future. I think I'm just going to record and do no editing and let it fly. But I wanted to talk today about a software that's available for Linux called SpeechNote. SpeechNote is a voice to text and a text to voice software that uses some AI, it uses some voice engines, a stack of open source libraries, and it's really pretty spiffy. It all happens locally on your computer. No, no data goes up to the cloud. And that's it. I'm going to take a quick 30 minutes and dive in to SpeechNote. So if that's your kind of gig, come on, let's ride. Let's check out this new software that's available for Linux. It's called SpeechNote. SpeechNote transcribes voice to text on Linux. It's an offline. That's a key word right there, guys. Nothing goes up to the cloud. Nothing gets computed off of your computer. It's an AI powered app that's able to transcribe your speech into text in a variety of languages. So that's the first part. You can just talk to it and it will translate your text or your voice into text. Then you can move that to French if you wanted to or Italian or whatever else. Also, you can take text and export it to speech. So you can write down words and have it read those for you. So let's go over to the FlatHub webpage. And that's how SpeechNote is distributed. I'm okay with Flatpaks and FlatHub. So we'll be using that today. Uh, we can go check out their GitHub just to see any special notes. And SpeechNote's GitHub says, Linux desktop in Sailfish OS, so you can have it on a phone, for note-taking, reading, and translating with offline speech-to-text, text-to-speech, and machine translation. All right, so let's get it rocking. Um, it uses a lot of other open source projects. And to install, we can use Flatpak or the Arch AUR. Hmm. I'm going to use Flatpak today because I don't. I might want to take it off my system. We can run Flatpak install flathub net.mkiol.speechnote. All right, we can run that for the user. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, that flat pack installation, that says it worked. We can search and it's there. So I'm gonna get rid of that and move that under there for us. And let's try to run speech note and see what we get. Okay, little window pops up. Neither speech to text nor text to speech model has been set up yet. Go to the languages to download models. Okay, we want English I think. Click here. We can do an English, and there's different models: Vosk Large, Vos Small, Coqui Large, Deep Speech Mozilla. Um, I think I've heard of Coqui before. I want to look through a little more to see if anything pops out. There's a Coqui Huge. I wish it would list exactly how large they were. I don't know if we're talking about megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. So I guess I'm just going to do Vosk Large just to start. And for text to speech, grab the English Coqui MMS. I assume that's kind of like a robot talk or something. And we'll grab Jenny female and let's grab a male voice too. Who do we want? I also wish in this application that you could quickly hear a sample of the voices. Okay, so Coqui, Coqui large came down easy. I have three text to speech voices. I have one Coqui large model and I'm trying to download this Vosk one. Does that continue to download in the back? Ground. Okay, it seems like it's still downloading, so we'll let that go. We have the Coqui Large. Okay, now what can we do? Type here or press listen to make a note. Testing this software for the first time. Okay, let's click read. So yeah, I mean, this is probably hardware intensive and having a GPU would be highly recommended. Testing this software for the first time. I messed that up, I was talking too much. Let's try to read that again, ready? 
Testing this software for the first time. There we go. We got something. Testing this software for the first time. Let's uh, try another one. This is on a Framework 11th Gen i7 Intel chip with no GPU. Testing to see how long a sentence with more substance might take. Comma, daddy -o. Let's get rocking and rolling into the new millennium, baby. <laughs> All right, let's see how that takes. Testing to see how long this sentence with more substance might take daddy. Let's get rocking and rolling into the new millennium, baby. <laughs> Testing to see how long a sentence with more substance might take daddy. -o. Let's get rocking and rolling into the new millennium, baby. Testing to see how long a sentence with more substance might take daddy -o. Let's get rocking and rolling into the new millennium, baby. That's really cool, man. I'm going to grab some more voices. Those were quick to download. I go to English. That Vosk uh, model is coming in better now. You'll get some more voices here. I don't know how much space I'm eating up. And let's grab some from far down so that we're not getting the same ones other people might quickly try. Southern low female. All right, I'll bite. English, British. There's just no uh, descriptions, and I, I really wish they had better descriptions or even let you hear it. Here's pronunciation. Oh, punctuation. I'm going to grab that punctuation. This is really interesting. Okay, so now we have that Vosk large. Should I switch to the Vosk uh, model? Because it was larger than the other one. So I switched to the Vosk. I have a lot more voices now. What can I grab for text uh, from somewhere? Let's go to textfiles.com, one of my favorite uh, retro sites. There we go, where are the files? We'll go into hacking. I'm just gonna grab a random file. I went up to a college this summer to look around, see if it was where I wanted to go and whatnot. The guide asked me about my interests and when I said computers, he started asking me about what systems I had, etc. And when all that was done, the first thing he asked me was, are you a hacker? Well, that question has been bugging me ever since. Just what exactly is a hacker? A real hacker? For those who don't know better, the news media and even comic strips have blown it way out of proportion. A hacker, by wrong definition, can be anything from a computer user to someone who destroys everything they can get their evil terminals into. I'm impressed with the speed. The voices are all right. It's pretty nice. And the idiotic shocks of the world who get a Commodore VIC Minus 20 and a 300 Bob modem hair and a tape drive for Christmas haven't helped hackers' reputations a damn bit. They somehow get access to a really cool system and find some files on hacking. Or maybe a friendly, but not too cautious. Hacker helps the loser out, gives him a few numbers, etc. The schmuck gets onto a system somewhere, looks up and gets into some really cool information or programs and deletes them. Or some of the more greedy ones capture it, delete it and try to sell it to Libya or something. Who gets the blame? The true hackers, that's who. So what is a true hacker? Firstly, some people may not think I am entirely qualified to say. Mainly because I don't consider myself a hacker yet. I'm still learning the ropes about it, but I think I have a pretty damn good idea of what a true hackers. If I'm wrong, that won't correct me. True hackers are intelligent. They have to be. Either they do really great in school because they have nothing better to do, or they don't do so good because school is terribly boring, and the ones who are bored aren't that way because they don't give a shit about learning anything. A true hacker wants to know everything, they are bored because schools teach the same dull old things over and over and over. Nothing new, nothing challenging. True hackers are curious and patient. Boom! Never spoken better. I'm going to try out the speech to text part. Uh, now I noticed that the uh, models that we downloaded, the Coqui Large and Vosk, um, those are used for the listening part. So I'm going to use Coqui, and I don't know what text I should use. Uh, let me just try something. Testing speech to text for the first time. I wonder how well this will work. I'm talking just like normal. Wow, very nice. Pretty stinking good, you guys. All right, we will uh, do a silly little test here. I'm going to blow this text up, and I will continue reading the uh, ethics.txt from text files. This time, I'll switch to the Vosk model, and let's go. I honestly don't know what purpose this file will serve. Maybe someone somewhere will read it and know the truth about hackers. Not the lies that the ignorant spread, 
To the true hackers out there, I hope I am portraying what you are in this file. If I am not, then at least I am saying what I think a true hacker should be. And to those wannabes out there who like the label of hacker being tacked onto them, grow up, would you? Oh yeah, the file I quoted from. It has been done, at least, two times. The Hacker's Manifesto, or Conscience of a Hacker, are the two names I've seen it given. A file by itself, and part of an issue of FRAC. Either way, it was written by The Mentor, and it was absolutely the best thing ever written on the subject of hackers. Read it. It could change your life. Spread it around, but don't change anything, please. Okay, so see that? It started with, it's not the lies that the ignorant spread. Did I not read this first sentence? Um, let's go to a different text file here. I don't know what it is. Okay, we're going to start right here. And I'll switch over to the Coqui large. Oh, the Coqui is actually the smaller of the two. That's okay, we'll test it. Um, and I'm going to start on that first word, so let's try it. We'll use speech note to listen. The backdoor program included a feature that was designed to modify the computer in which the program was inserted so that the computer would be destroyed if someone accessed it using a certain password. United States Department of Justice, July 1992. That looks like it got that just perfectly. I'll just try one more paragraph using speech note to listen to my voice. The recent article on security holes in WWIV BBSs got me to thinking. Where WWIV is the board of choice among clone sysops, Ami Express is the dominant software in the Amiga community, the pirate community anyway. Ami Express is a relatively simple piece of software, and that's good because it keeps things quick and easy. No means are provided for the sysop to keep track of top uploaders or even last callers. What is provided is a batch file that is executed each time a user logs off. In the batch file, one runs utilities to compile data into text files that are stored as bulletins. That way, the next user sees a bulletin containing the last few users that called, etc. It's a hassle, but it works. Now, this one did not work that well. So, it says the recent article on security holes in, and then it says W space W, I-B-B-E-T-S-O-N. So, that BBS is... <laughs> And it didn't even get the got thinking part. I'll read it back. The recent article on security holes in WWIBVSTN Univ is the board of choice and long consist armies is the dominant software in the immediate unity of the pirate community. Anyway, Pantrisnia relatively, you know, just didn't get it. So I know it's boring, but I am going to switch to Vosk and I'm going to read that same uh, little bit. All right. So here we go. And I'm going to go quick. I'm not going to try, but here we go. The recent article on security holes in WWIV BBSs got me to thinking. Where WWIV is, the board of choice among clone sysops, Omni Express is the dominant software in the Amiga community. The pirate community, anyway. Omni Express is a relatively simple piece of software, and that's good because it keeps things quick and easy. No means are provided for the sysop to keep track of top uploaders or even last callers. What is provided is a batch file that is executed each time a user logs off. In the batch file, one runs utilities to compile data into text files that are stored as bulletins. That way, the next user sees a bulletin containing the last few users that called, etc. It's a hassle, but it works. Yeah, so this does a better job. I noticed that again, with the Vosk model, it seems to chop off that first sentence. Or is it chopping off things it doesn't understand, like WWIV BBSs? So the very first word here is board of choice among clone set apps. So certain words it doesn't know. I wonder if we could start a dictionary file and even train it. This is cool, man. And let's try the translator out. Oh, I have to download another language, right. So we'll just do Spanish. I know a little bit of Spanish, so that'll be good. This is Spanish to English. I want English to Spanish. So this is a real basic app that's doing heavy duty stuff underneath and I wish that they'd just polish this up a little bit. I'd love to be able to hear those voices as I already said earlier. Espanol to English. Hola. I mean, I don't know a lot. Hola is wave. Let's see if we can find some Spanish text somewhere. I'm just going to grab a couple paragraphs, dump that in there, and say translate. Cool. Translated Super simple. I live in a small but modern house in the city center. My house has two bedrooms, a bathroom, a living room, a kitchen, and a small terrace. 
In the afternoons, the sun heats the house for hours, so it doesn't usually get cold. On and on and on. So that's really cool. Let's read that in Spanish. Pero moderna en el centro de la ciudad. Mi casa tiene dos habitaciones, un baño, una sala de estar, una cocina y una pequeña terraza. Por las tardes el sol calienta la casa durante horas, así que no suele hacer frío. Vivo en una casa pequeña pero moderna en el centro de la ciudad. Mi casa tiene dos habitaciones, un baño, una sala de estar, una cocina y una pequeña terraza. Por las tardes el sol calienta la casa durante I live in a small but modern house in the city center. I live in a small but modern house in the city center. My favorite part of the house is the terrace because there I can enjoy the views of the city and reinforce silence. The bathroom is small and uncomfortable, but I'm going to reform it. When my friends come, we all sit down and chat in the living room. I've lived in this house for four years. Really nice, all the different voices. Where are some that we didn't see? Piper, here we go. The building is modern and recently built. I really like the exterior as it has very attractive colors and good looks. Ever since I got to this house of Ivalo, the size is perfect for a person, but you could rent the second room to a friend. However, I like to live alone. All right, we're just showing some of the voices. I really like this. I'm happy in this house and I'm not leaving for now. Oh, that's really neat. So that was uh, Piper L2 Arctic Aussie Medium. So you can get different dialects and the voices could be useful for some applications of the software. You can export to an audio file, export the translation to an audio file, the only thing I didn't see is English to Spanish. Why not? Seems like that should be there. I'll go look again. Maybe I missed it. Okay, yeah. It's all right there. Here we go. I missed it. I missed it, guys. English to Spanish. And we'll grab English to German. So they're all there. I just missed it. That's it. So now let's go to translator. I can't dictate, though. Well, I don't think I can dictate. I can't translate from my voice. You just go over and copy my voice. All right, let's do this. Uh, translate into Deutsch. Let's translate that. You can translate as you type also, and then you can read it back. Lassen Sie uns Spaß daran haben, heute eine neue Software zu lernen. Die Software ist Sprechnote und es ermöglicht Ihnen, sowohl Text zu Sprache als auch Sprache an Textfunktionen zu tun. Können Sie glauben, wie nützlich Open Source Software im Jahr 2024 ist? Ich kann nicht die haben. Oops, I only have Dutch so far. I thought I grabbed more. Oh, I, I did. I'm sorry. There's Spanish and Russian. Oops, I have no model for Russian, so that won't work. La sensi un spa dara na ben, que ute in ene de software to learn. Die software is speech, note un que ser molich inen. So gol test, sus prache al saut, prache an test funcionen su tum, punen si erlauben, bien utrich open source of... Okay, I think what happened is I translated to German and I didn't push translate again. There we go. <laughs> I was like, that ain't Spanish. <laughs> Vamos a divertirnos aprendiendo un nuevo software. El software es Page Note y le permite hacer tanto funciones de texto a voz y voz de texto puedes creer lo útil que es el software de código abierto en 2024. No puedo. Very, very cool. I'm impressed with Speech Note. It's really cool. I wish you could dictate. I wish I could read in English and have it translated. I don't see that option here in the translator part. With the power of AI coming to our local computers, this is just a framework 11th generation computer, no GPU. We're going to start having some real power, guys. Whoa! I love program with a open code and I know that most of you are also. What projects have you recently been spectating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it's going to be in this moment. Come on now. This is really awesome. So there it is, guys. That's speech note. If anybody knows how, to uh, translate from voice, I'd like to read into here and have it translate. Um, you know, you could just go over to the notepad and, and do that right here. You could just listen from here, copy and paste into the translator. But this software is really cool. Uh, later, I'm gonna find out if there's any APIs, if I can do some coding with this software. But for now, that's it guys. Thanks for coming along and I hope y'all have a rocking day.